Hello traders. Let's take a look at the featured stock from yesterday and then let's find a new one. My goal is to set you up with some great trades and I hope that you'll return the favor by subscribing to my channel and by posting your comments. You don't want to miss these trades so make sure to turn on your notifications. Let's get started. Yesterday I showed you NET. Let's hover over the earnings date. We can see that it announces earnings on February 11th tomorrow. A little bit of volatility for the stock. It's been able to hold this breakout right here. Not a good reaction today. Had a really nice start to the day going to the M5 chart. You can see how the stock was moving higher and then the bottom dropped out. Well, part of that was because this is what happened to the S&P 500. The bottom dropped out. So no excuses. NET, not a great pick. Didn't have the relative strength that I was hoping for this morning on that market drop. All tech stocks really drop pretty hard. Let's talk a little bit about the market and then let's get on with our pick. I always like to start with the market because it sets the context for everything that we do. Opening gaps higher to a new relative high. These are the worst setups for day trading. I always warn everyone, yes, there are going to be times when the market gaps higher and the market continues to climb higher. I will miss those moves. And I'm happy to miss those moves because I don't want to have the rug yanked out from under me. In almost every case, when we have a gap up to a new relative high on the market, you're going to see the bid tested and you're going to get a market pullback that ultimately can end in something like that. These are huge sell programs that came in. What does that mean? Is it over? Is the rally over? Should I be worried? Well, you should always be worried, especially if you're over leveraged. If your gut dropped out on this move, you probably have too much risk on. I believe we're going to see a bottom. I'll tell you why. Right now, this is the way that institutions check the bid. They want to see if buyers are there and what their level of conviction is. So if you get a big drop like this, it means that there were a lot of sell stops along the way that were triggered. So this would have been one logical area, the low from yesterday, where you would have definitely triggered some sell stops. Also, the high from yesterday, that was resistance, now support. Once that was taken out, that started to feed on itself. So now they're going to check the low of the day. That happens. This big violent bounce tells me that we are probably seeing the lows of the day right here. We've got a bullish 1OP cross right here. You can see, talk about a great bearish cross right here, right here. Before the market fell apart, the 1OP indicator was telling us, be careful. I was telling members in the chat room we needed to be careful anyway because we had a long red bar closing on its low to start the day on a gap higher. And then you can see how the market was never able to even challenge that opening price Long tails above body, not a good sign. That's a sign of selling resistance, selling, selling. Every time the market tried to push a little bit higher, whap, 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 slap down. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're not going higher. So then they hit the sell button and the bottom drops out. A lot of bullish speculators, FOMO, fear of missing out, worried that they're not going to be able to catch this market rally. Let's go to a daily chart. So first of all, here's what you need to know. I believe the low for the day is in. This is going to be a bottoming process. Buyers are a little bit back on their heels right now. They want to make sure that the coast is clear before they come in. I believe that we're going to continue to bounce around. We should make a series of lows here, but they will be higher lows. And then we should get a nice little rebound later in the day. The longer this bounce takes to unfold, the better. What you don't want is a drop like this, about a 20-minute bounce, and then whoosh, the next leg lower. That would be very bearish. The fact that we were able to make a nice rally off of the low, that's a good sign. So watch for the market to come in. Watch for that higher low. I don't think that you should be buying until you see that. How does this set up within the entire day? What is the macro picture look like. This was a very big drop, the biggest that we've seen since October, and this was two weeks ago. 
when we broke the 50-day moving average, and I'll put that up, and we broke the upward sloping channel, that was a bearish sign. And it looked like the market might actually come in and test the 100-day moving average. But here was the clue, and here's why I think that the selling pressure is going to be fairly light the remainder of the day. This bounce that we had last week was fast and furious, and it happened on big volume. That told me we're headed higher, and when you start taking out the upper end of a trading channel like this, you get a market melt-up, and I still believe that that is possible. But it's going to mean that the price action on the way up is going to be very volatile, just like we've seen today. Big drops, bid check, aha, buyers are still there, zoom, market goes higher. And if you take a look at the price action, go back to take a look at what happened on the prior relative highs when you had a bearish engulfing candle. That's one right there. Okay, market kind of settles back for a few days, but ultimately resumes. There's another one. Aha! Nice big bearish engulfing candle. That's it. The highs are in. Market's going to roll over. Mm, not so fast. You can see how these big, long red candles have been able to reverse along the way. Look at this one right here. New relative high. Whap! But gradually, the market finds its way back. So I wouldn't get too worried about this if you're a longer-term investor or a longer-term swing trader. But if this made you nervous, it tells me that you've got too much exposure. So make sure that you're keeping an eye on market conditions. I believe that we're going to have a melt-up. So let's go in and take a look at trades that might be setting up well. I'm going to go into a search right now. So I'm going to go into my scanner and I'm going to go into the bullish flags. That's what we've been doing recently. We'll take a look at a few charts. I'll show you my pick of the day and we'll move on. A-G-E-N, we'll put up the daily chart. Not real crazy about this price action. AMAT, I do like AMAT. You can see downward sloping trend line right here. Stock was able to break out to the upside. Got a nice upward sloping channel or a trend line right here. I'm going to go into the five minute chart. We're going to put up the 10SI indicator that indicates relative strength and it's above zero. So you can see that it's strong relative to the market. It pulled back, but it pulled back to where the stock closed yesterday during the big market drop. That's a pretty good sign. And look at this bounce. Let's put that five minute chart back up of the SPY. I like to watch what the SPY is doing tick for tick with the underlying stock because that helps me when I day trade down, down, down for the market. Look at the stock. Look what it's doing in the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Market down, stock up. The stock wants to go. I like AMAT. I think it's going to perform well. It is not my pick of the day. Here you can see nice upward sloping trend line right here bullish flag setting up. I need to see the stock above the high from today and I've got my alert set. When I do a GTC alert on a daily chart it goes straight up like that but tomorrow it'll flatten out and go across. So that's one worth watching. AVXL was the symbol. I don't like that. There's nothing there for me. This I do like. You can see small little bullish flag right here. Connect those two tops right there and we've got a breakout above it. Hover over the earnings date, 224, so it releases earnings uh, in about 12 days or so, 14 days. Let's go to the five minute chart. Stock pulls back, but really uh, the low of the day was pretty close to the close from the prior day. Look at that relative strength in there. The stock has come back very nicely. I think we're going to continue to see JMIA move higher. JMIA is my pick of the day. I like it. MOMO, -O, nice and strong. Go into the five minute chart. This one looks really good. You can see how it's holding that support. Got some tails under body. Looks like the stock could be ready to make a move higher. Just need some help from the market here. Market down, down, down. Stock treading 
higher. Momo looks like it's going to go to me. I think this is going to be a good one. If you look at this video, realize that it has been recorded about two hours into the open. So see what it did the rest of the day. That's the point of these videos. I want you to get a feel for how good this research is, how good our systematic approach is. Come in and take the trial. I'm not asking for blind trust. I'm asking for you to take a look at the results day in and day out of the picks that I make. That's what's going to give you the confidence. That's how you're going to be able to move forward and feel good about taking the trial and learning our system. I did mention one yesterday, and I'm going to put it back up. I had mentioned to you yesterday that Airbnb was looking pretty good to me, but I wasn't quite ready because we still had some pretty big tails above body, and there was our downward sloping bullish flag. We could connect these two lines here and have it come in right at that level. But today you can see how this will be a new closing high for the stock, breaking through that horizontal resistance, A, B, N, B. Keep an eye on that one. I like that as well. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching this YouTube video. I'm Pete Stolzers and I'm going to keep the trade ideas coming along with lots of education. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and please turn on your notifications so that you never miss another trade. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up. I've loaded two other videos that I think you're really going to enjoy. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.